a German pilsner whose brewery is famous for the plop. It's Beer Klocken from the Flinsberger Brewery. We have a bottle of the Flinsberger Pilsner. Coming in at 4.8% ABV. Now, um, <laughs> a few of you, <laughs> my subscribers, have seen me um, the other week do the Flinsberger Gold, and a few of you got in touch and said, you've got to do the Pilsner. You've got to do the Flinsberger Pilsner. So I listen to you, and I deliver. <laughs> How's that? How's that? You know, you asked for this review. So you get this review, and this is how we want this channel to go. If you want me to review a beer, get in touch, let me know, and I will go and source that beer, and we will review it. So without further ado, obviously the, the Flensburger Brewery. It's been around since it's, it's 1888, and they're famous for the plop, because when a lot of um, the breweries actually went to putting corks in the bottles and the Flensburger brewery went no we're not we're still going to stay with the traditional flip tops and yeah and that's why they have this motto they're famous for the plop so without further ado let's let's plop this open and get it into a glass whoa there we go that crack and that smoke and that plop so let's get this into this glass Cracking looking Pilsner. So, first impressions will hold it up. It's clear, straw, golden colour, plenty of carbonation, <coughs> and a lovely two finger white tight foam head. This is a non nucleated glass. Look at the carbonation in that. Let's get the aromas. Oh, it's got a full flavour aroma, this has. It's hoppy, it's grassy, there's some pepper notes. A little bit of lemon there. Um, it just smells a cracking pilsner. You've got some malts coming through. I just want to, I just want to neck it now it, is, it smells divine um so let's dive in give it a try cheers it's crisp it's refreshing and it's dry really dry this is a great beer the hop bitterness is so different to a lot of other pilsners This could be probably one of the most bitter pilsners I've had. This bitterness through the middle. And it's, the, the, the malts tend to sweeten it up a little bit. Before then it goes into this lovely dry back end. And it is, it is a, a huge dryness at the back end of this beer. 
that makes you literally takes all the saliva out of your mouth, makes you want to go in for for, for another soup. It's grassy, it's hoppy, the malts. It's such a great balanced beer. As you know, I love my Pilsners. I love that dry back end of a Pilsner. There's nothing more refreshing on a hot day is to have a, a crisp, clean, dry Pilsner. But there's this bitterness in this which makes this different, makes it stand out from others. It's really good. It definitely has a unique character to it, this beer. A different character to a lot of other Pilsners. But I suppose when you're in Germany, when you're up against all these other, other beers, I suppose you've got to do something a little bit different to make yours stand out. And that's clearly what they've done here. So this is definitely in this is definitely in the top ten pilsners that I've had. Definitely. It's just so refreshing. And it feels so light. It doesn't even feel like a four point eight percent beer. Um well, what can I say about it? It's it's a cracker. It's not overly carbonated as well. You know, like some pilsners are really, really fizzy. You know, you can see the carbonation in that glass. You know, and it's just right. Brilliant Pilsner. Now, believe it or not, I picked this up on on Amazon of all places um, when I was searching for it. I bought a six pack. Oh, I forgot how much it was. It wasn't expensive for a six pack of these on Amazon. Um, I'll definitely be getting some more. I really, really enjoyed this beer. It's really, really good. It's crisp. It's dry. Um, this is bitterness, which I like to it. Um, yeah, like I say, it's in one of it's in it's in, it's in my top ten of um, pilsners, definitely. So look, see if you can get hold of a bottle of this. Go on Amazon, get one, or you might better get a bottle elsewhere. But I say I got a six pack on Amazon. They, they weren't expensive. It works out about I don't know uh, three quid a bottle, you know, which ain't overly drastic, is it? Um, so look, get hold of some, try it, um, and see what you think. I thank you. To the people who messaged me and said, Mark, you've got to get hold of the Flensburger Pilsner to do a review. I really, really appreciate it because I've just discovered myself uh, another great beer. So look, get hold of a bottle, try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.